Epilepsy is a seizure disorder, and a seizure is basically a burst of uncontrolled electricity in your brain that can cause abnormalities such as convulsions and loss of consciousness. Not only are there different types of seizure disorders, but there are different types of epilepsy and also different types of seizures. So I have something called right temporal lobe epilepsy and I have tonic clonic seizures, also known as grand mal seizures. During a seizure episode, I will experience something called an aura, which is basically your brain kind of warning you about what is about to happen. Some things that I experience during this are tunnel vision, I will start seeing numbers, um, sometimes I'll start seeing colors in one eye uh, before passing out and then I'll start having convulsions. After that is what is known as the post-ictal stage and that is when I wake up after having a seizure and my brain basically has to reboot. I don't recognize my loved ones, I don't know where I am, I can't understand language and I can't speak coherently. I actually have a screenshot of a text that I sent my mom in like 2014 or 15 after I had a seizure alone and as you can see, um, your brain knows what it wants to say but it's not uh, properly like getting that message across. It's a really scary stage and I experience extreme paranoia and I assume that the people around me are trying to hurt me. I still feel like that even when I'm alone. The best way I can explain it is if you've ever seen the movie Silent House with Elizabeth Olsen, she's basically running away from an intruder that's unknown and unseen and that's what it feels like being in the post-ictal stage for me. You can't see them but you feel the presence of something trying to harm you around you. I actually tried to jump off a balcony once because I thought my sister was trying to kill me after I woke up from having a seizure. I'm explaining this in detail because I think a lot of people have a misconception about like what seizures actually are and it goes far beyond passing out and like shaking a little. It can actually take me about two to three weeks to fully recover from a grand mal seizure because of the muscle soreness that occurs and also any bodily harm that might happen, which could be anything from hitting my head on the floor or uh, biting down on my tongue. And biting down on your tongue makes it extremely hard to eat solid foods for a few weeks. And the other thing is that seizures can be deadly. SUDEP or sudden unexpected death and epilepsy is what took the life of Cameron Boyce in 2019. Another thing is that I get asked a lot about my lighting equipment and I actually own strobe lights. It's not every epileptic person has the same triggers, so for me it's more of sleep deprivation, which is pretty challenging because I also have insomnia. That being said, I've been seizure free since 2019, and who knows if that will last, but right now I'm thankful that I'm able to live a really good life in spite of my disability. I hope this answered some of your questions about epilepsy, and I hope that we can continue.